What's going on guys? So I felt like it's been a little bit of time since I've made some videos on some small cap stocks. I know a lot of you guys are holding these stocks. A lot of you guys like to trade them. A lot of you guys, you know, a little bit of a longer term investor looking to get in on a good deal. So what we're looking at here is Skills SKLZ. Um, you know, coming off those recent lows, the, those all time lows of $1.39. I mean, you know, I was trading this thing when it was up in the 20s and then just to see this stock get absolutely, you know, pounded over the last year is really, really heartbreaking. But with that being said, we've got some good things going on here in skills with the overall rest of the market. Now, it's still too early to know if this is just purely a dead cat bounce or we're actually going to start coming off of this uh, bottom here. What we are going to want to see here on skills for the short term. So I'm going to be speaking in two different narratives, one from a longer term investor standpoint, which I think that if you've been kind of dollar cost averaging all the way down here, you're going to be very, very fine. You know, what's the worst that can happen with skills? It was already down at $1.39. If you were, you know, uh, in that much pain to sell at $1.39, well, I don't think you're really going to be uh, and you did not sell, I don't think you're going to be selling out at $2 or $3 or so forth. So if you've kind of averaged down, got that dollar cost average down, you know, in between kind of like three, $3, $2 area, I think you're going to be okay. Just continue to average uh, down on that position, especially if you believe in the company, you're going to be sticking around for the next three to five years. Now for some of you shorter term swing traders, here's exactly what we want to see. Well, on Friday, we got that first close over the 20 day moving average. That is bullish. We are also over the five and 10 day moving average. That is also bullish. What we do have here is a top side channel going back to the 20th. That price is sitting at around $2. So we're just about eight cents away from taking out this channel and breaking the short term downtrend. Now that does not mean that we're going to go all the way back to all time highs or, you know, let alone see five, $6 anytime soon, but that's going to be breaking the short term downtrend. And when I mean short term, I'm, I'm talking about the last two, three weeks to, you know, a month, a month and a half's time. With that being said, the next key area of resistance that we have coming up here on skills is going to be 205 as well as $2.40. Now that is the area that I think is going to give us a lot of trouble on skills. So if you're a shorter term trader, meaning that you kind of averaged in down here and started a starter position somewhere in the in the mid $1 range, I think with that being said, if you can get that dollar move and depending on your position sizing, whether you're in five, 10,000 uh, shares, maybe you're only in a thousand shares or, or 500 shares, if you want to take some profits on that dollar move, definitely take some profits, but hold the runner because if skills can get over that $2.40, this is going to have room to stretch back up into $3.25. I think that squeeze can come very, very quickly um, and it can come very, very violently, meaning that it can happen over the course of a week, even a couple of days time. So definitely I'm not going to, you know, start putting the horse in front of, uh, you know, the carriage in front of the horse too soon yet. What I want to see is a day by day action here. So what I'm looking for, something very simple. I want to take out to uh, Friday's highs on Tuesday or sometime this week. And I want to look for that initial push into that $2 range. I think as soon as we get up into this uh, red line here, which is the 50 day moving average, I think we could stall around and maybe even back test one of these rising demand zones here. And I think that as soon as we can bust through that $2.40, we've got a, a, a very, very nice short term trade on our hands here. Obviously, for all of you investors, what you want to continue to do is just manage and hold your positions dollar cost average where you can kind of get accumulate more shares. Um, you know, right around this region. Uh, definitely, here's something to also keep in mind because the market can flip the script at any point in time. If we do lose a dollar thirty nine, and you currently are averaged into this position right around that two dollars, I would definitely take my losses there, uh, just due to the fact that you don't want this thing to kind of slow bleed to a dollar or even under a dollar, and then you kind of just be stuck. Let's just use these recent lows as an absolute stop. As long as we're trading over $1.40, we're going to continue to stay in this trade and ride it out as long as it takes and as long as it need be. Because if this thing can come back to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars and you currently do have one, five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand shares, it's going to pay off immensely again. If you guys like this kind of content and technical analysis, make sure to give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, follow my Discord, join my Discord, join the community, join the community, join the, the you know the conversation. Uh, let's get trading and making some money. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video.